Basilica of Santa Polinare Nuovo, with the widest uh, um, part of uh, the inside decorated with beautiful, beautiful mosaics. The 
chapel of the Archbishop inside the Archbishop Palace. The mausoleum of Theodoric, the only one which has no mosaic inside. The mosaic of San Vitale, so similar to Hagia Sophia in Constantinople. And the Basilica of Santa Polinare in Classe where from time to time concerts are held. And this experience uh, is uh, one of the most beautiful experiences you may have in the city of Ravenna. You will listen to good music uh, in a place uh, which uh, try, try to represent paradise. So it's really an experience. And uh, the city is not only an ancient city based on uh, ancient heritage, it's also a contemporary and modern city, a city when, uh, where the many activities on the art mosaic create new and original possibilities. This is a fountain made uh, by mosaics. This is a, an object you find when um, going out from the Ravenna railway station. Uh, Token in a way with uh, an ancient bell tower. Those are modern mosaics in a public park called Park of Peace. This is an homage to a mayor who died uh, very, very young and who started uh, uh, in the process to be inside the world uh, heritage needs to die in Ezra and its adventure. And uh, the codes and the book are decorated in mosaic. This is um, not street art, it's simply public furniture, you know, flowers boards made by the school, uh, the artistic school of the city, but decorated with mosaics. And a very important collection of modern mosaics in my museum. But uh, this picture will uh, present you with uh, this um, contemporary mosaic festival. It's a Berlinale festival dedicated to art and to mosaic, started in 2009. So we have four editions by now. And then we'll um, try to speak how we uh, are avoiding to become a, a day park working on our cultural identity because uh, the, the base, the core of our cultural identity may be traced in the art of mosaic. Uh, at least the UNESCO said so during the year years. The festival represents uh, an important opportunity to combine the artistic tradition of the city with contemporary and new issues. Mosaic artists have were given the chance to express themselves in the most suggestive venues of the city museums, garden, <coughs> gardens, religious spaces, libraries, shops, and open spaces. Mosaics were taken out of their usual settings, churches, schools, and ateliers, and they were integrated in the Yuga space. During the festival, mosaic artists from all over the world come to Ravenna to exhibit, to study, to discuss, and to share. The festival's aim was to sustain the city cultural identity, to combine it with a deep awareness of the past, but to project it into the future, too. So, in the first edition, we promoted new mosaic uh, in, in the urban landscape in order to turn the city itself into a global and cultural workshop made of contamination, experimentation, and trying to combine the tradition, heritage, contemporary ideas in an international. <coughs> Here you have some images. With the exhibition Opere, Opere del Mondo, Works from the World, in uh, an ancient church, the Church of San Domenico, San Francisco's <coughs> Creative Immigrant Projects, we received mosaics from uh, uh, 24 different countries. Here you find some pictures it's from the Opere del Mondo. Then we have a tribute to Egypt in our Placense library, books coming from Egypt, uh, 
inside the Placense Library a solo exhibition dedicated to books, so we had mosaics made by books. Contemporary mosaic artworks were brought into the sacred space of the Garden of San Vitale and into the flooded crypt of the Basilica of San Francesco. New creative solutions were to be admired in the most iconic traditions of the city. New mosaic road signs were made and placed throughout the city in order to create um, a new, new itinerary between the different exhibition spaces for this first issue of the festival. Um, and then we are going on making new um, road signs in, uh, in mosaic which maybe is not art, but uh, I can tell you that it's really appreciated by our visitors. Uh, I always found some of the pictures from these work signs made in mosaics, and each of, uh, each of each one of them is different from uh, from the other. So in the first edition, we were looking for um, the establishment of an artistic and contemporary identity, given expression to, to it, thank you to the festival. And the aim, the real aim, was to, to show our art, to share it, and to be proud of it, to be proud of the ancient and of the modern heritage. The second edition took place in uh, 2001. Well, the date is wrong, it was uh, 2011. Um, we had a larger collaboration network with all the cultural institutions of the city and an increased international dimension. So the festival became a location to uh, welcome artists and visitors from different countries. Mosaic installations were brought to the renovated uh, Franciscan cloisters. This is an example. This is a, a, marshmallow, a big marshmallow made in mosaic, made by a student from our Academy of Fine Arts. We decided to. Um, to there is a commission uh, selecting the works. Uh, and we decided to uh, insert this work, which is very ironic, very provocative, because we, we had to show what young people is trying to express, uh, even if we have <coughs> ancient art. We paid a tribute to our great Israeli mosaicist Lana Shafir. She was working uh, with um, many different materials. The, the mosaics she made uh, um, are very different from the mosaic you may find uh, in Greece uh, or, or in Ravenna. She uses uh, fragments of stones and pieces of uh, uh, wood so she found her garden and she uh, cre created works of art starting from different pieces of material. We had a, this work is a work from a collective um, of artists, they are very young. Uh, it's called Immersion. It is um, an illusionary soft cloth made, made by mosaic, which is in a, an ideal communication. You can see the, it's inside the art and artistry, and it is in dialogue with uh, the Christ being immersed into the Jordan River, uh, being baptized by um, John, by Saint John. So, contemporary interpretation of a very ancient icon. The City Art Museum dedicated uh, an award to young artists making mosaics. The award is called the Premio Gaia, Giovanni Artisti and Mosaico. Um, we were running for the competition of European Capital for Culture, and our logo was made. 
Who was it? Two. And uh, the role for the competition, which we lost, unfortunately, was Mosaic of the Archers. In uh, the third edition, we um, organized a conference about teaching mosaics, because uh, teaching mosaics is so important if you want to have contemporary modern artists, we have to start from their tradition. We had a beautiful um, issue of Opera del Mondo. Uh, this, uh, um, the blue one comes from the United States, uh, the other one comes from, uh, from Italy. And we used uh, a beautiful new space uh, inside, inside the city. Uh, we paid a tribute to um, an artist from uh, Bulgaria, because Italy and Bulgaria uh, were running together towards the 2019 competition for the European Capital of Russia. Uh, we received also students from uh, the School of Alexandria, and inside the, the award in the museum dedicated to young artists, we faced new forms of expression. New technologies were adopted in this occasion, like uh, in this case uh, projections or the use of social network to uh, modulate a new mosaic. This is a work called My Camino by a young artist. Uh, she, she attended the Academy of Art in Modena. You were requested to prepare your own Camino and to press a button, the button would have taken a picture of your Camino and the picture was uh, uh, launched into an Instagram contest. Uh, uh, which was uh, hashtag my or what's something like that, and not so te uh, technological, but it was very, very interesting. And uh, Franciscan cloisters, which are uh, by the tomb of some of, of uh, Dante Pieri, were completely invented by Mosaics. So the tomb of Dante Pieri is just uh, that way, and we put a new road sign stating that this is the zona del silencio, the silence zone. Because when you are there, you have to understand that you are in front of the town of Dante Alighieri. So we ask for silence. Uh, and in mosaic and Dante Alighieri, the two most important symbols of our, our city are together now. For edition was last year. Uh, we use this beautiful palace uh, which uh, had just been reopened at the public use, but was going to test it. Um, just some tips about this whole position. Palace, Palazzo was going to test hosted 11 exhibitions, among which are uh, tribute to France, to French artists. We decided to to invite French artists because of what happened at the beginning of last year in Paris. Uh, we had this beautiful edition of Opera del Mondo, works from the world. You can see some images. Uh, um, we had so many animals represented in mosaics. Uh, the pigeon, uh, this is a um, hen. You may see uh, a little cat uh, on the shoulder of a uh, uh, the man who is the artist, in fact, Heron, and uh, landscapes, uh, flowers, flowers. And this is a representation of the city of Venice according to the vision of the Bulgarian um, artist Ilya Ilyev. And then portraits, female portraits. Federico Fellini. This, uh, mm, this Beautiful images taken by uh, an old Many, many portraits and people visiting the, the exhibition. And geometry. Mosaic says um, often made by simple geometry. And uh, contemporary art may give new interpretations of this uh, geometry. This is good for our Greek. Uh, 
is the ones that are coming from uh, from Greek artists. I show I call passion. This is a, a skateboard decorated with mosaics and geometry again. And then we uh, go this um, exhibition with uh, mosaic uh, soft carpets. Twelve signs of the zodiac realized by great mosaic is kind of stoker. It's a very beautiful works. Ninety mosaic uh, artworks in the shape of light bulbs uh, made of uh, fluorescent material. Uh, combined a very suggestive installation. 160 symbols from different countries and different places combined in one great installation. One table, one table cloth. 25 artworks selected for the new edition of Giovanni Artisti Mosaico, the artist of mosaic in the museum. Those are the, um, the works which have been awarded. Okay. And 40 images, 40 photographs telling the story of how Altius signed this mosaic, which is taken by his work. The paintings is in Paris. The mosaic is in Ravenna. During the festival, the mosaic was in Expo in Milan. And 21 artworks, uh, um, you know, those are works of art in the shape of inside uh, a library. Then we had uh, 30, 34 spaces all over the city with events, exhibitions, meetings uh, dedicated to mosaic. And what else? Eight sofa, eight benches decorated with mosaics coming from uh, Netherlands with a project called Social Sofa. Five, of these, five uh, out of these eight were acquired by the municipality of Ravenna in order to make them an important part of street furniture. You see them. our waterfront and, uh, and the social sofa. I'm going to the end. This is a great mosaic. Uh, it's a long, long wave, uh, 30, 33 square meters, um, for the new entrance of a new museum we are going to open uh, next year, the new archaeological museum. Workshops, uh, conferences, uh, what happened? Uh, beyond the international dimension of this festival, we found in this uh, last edition a new attitude. A new attitude toward um, a collaborative kind of work. You see, this is a collective of mosaicists which uh, stay together to create new works of art. The festival gave us a chance to set up new goals to explore new territories such as uh, public art. Um, an artist from uh, Turkey said during one of the workshops we had that mosaic is a connecting art. Not only because uh, it creates visions out of fragments, but also because uh, it gives new interpretation to ancient uh, and gives you a new collective dimension. And this collective dimension is really needed today more than ever, not only in, uh, in the field of art. Thank you. Thank you.